Hey guys. Okay, now, so for the second part of this experiment, what you'll need is a ruler and a stopwatch. So I'm just going to use my cell phone for a stopwatch in this case. Now, uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll add, uh, we've already calculated the amount of mass required to overcome friction in the bearings. I've left that mass on. Um, now what we can do is add some additional masses and find out uh, how much time it takes for that additional mass to make our setup move. So here I'll take uh, some masses. Uh, for you, you'll start off with smaller masses. For the purpose of this video, I'll use some larger masses here. Uh, so I'll place uh, the larger mass here. Two. I'll apply the brake and place the hanger here. Um, I'll measure a distance of one meter from the ground and I'll make sure that our setup is one meter from the ground. Okay. So, our uh, next thing that we'll do is we'll uh, release the brake and at the same time as releasing the brake we'll press the start button uh, so on your marks get set go so you'll see the setup begin to move um, and it will get faster and faster and faster so we see that the weight is accelerating um, we'll be making an assumption and the assumption is that it's accelerating at a um, constant rate and the velocity is increasing at a constant rate. Um, so the mass is just about to hit the ground. Just hit the ground then, and then we can measure the amount of time taken for that process to happen. Uh, so I didn't quite stop the stopwatch in time, but I get a value of don't know if you can see that, um, so that's 29.07 uh, seconds. Uh, so you'll be doing that for a range of different masses, so we'll put a, a second set of masses onto there. Um, you'll get a measurement for mass and you'll get a measurement for time. So now that once we've done that, I'll place the masses onto the scale. and get a reading for the mass that we have here. All right, uh, so uh, once you've done that process, we'll do that again for a second mass and a second time um, and get your other results. Uh, thank you.